Today, we're going to be going over how to complete the Diamond Casino Heist with two players for the Silent Sneaky Approach. But before we get into the video, I just want to remind you to leave a like if you get any value out of this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're new for more amazing GTA content. Before we get into the heist itself, I just wanted to show you what setups I recommend doing for the heist. I think that you should do the Duggan Shipments prep, the EMP prep, the Infiltration Suits prep, the Patrol Routes prep, and the Level 2 Security Card prep. All of these will make the heist so much easier, and they're definitely worth it in my opinion. I also recommend getting the cheapest driver and gunman, and getting Paige as your hacker. When doing the heist, I recommend entering the casino from the helipad, since it puts you in a position to do a lot better than going through the front door. I also recommend leaving through the staff lobby and selling to the high-end buyer. At the beginning of the heist, you and a partner will need to drive up to the cargo bomb, which you'll eventually jump out of and land on the helipad. I recommend taking this shortcut to get to the cargo bomb, instead of using the normal roads since you won't have to deal with any traffic. Once you get to the cargo bob, you'll just need to hop in and the NPC will fly you to the proper altitude to jump. When jumping out of the cargo bob, you're going to want to wait a few seconds before opening your parachute to avoid going over the casino. Once you land, remember to take out the security cameras with your stun gun before going through the door. After you go through the door, you're going to need to rappel down the elevator shaft. This is really easy, and it gives you better positioning when entering the casino than going through the staff lobby. Once you're in the lobby, you're going to need to coordinate taking out the enemies with your partner to avoid being spotted. This can be a little tricky if it's your first time, so don't be afraid to take your time on this part. After you take out the enemies, one of you should push this button in the control room to open up the mini vault. This is just a small part of the heist that gives you a little bit of extra cash. You don't have to get this, but why not, since it's basically free money. After you get the mini vault, go down the staircase and melee the guard inside with your pistol. Don't use your fist, since it won't do enough damage to kill him. Also, remember to stun the camera in the staircase to avoid being caught. Once you get to the bottom level, coordinate with your partner to kill both the guards down here. After killing them, activate the EMP to turn off the lights. I recommend that one of you take out all the enemies in the other room, and the other one wait for this guy to walk through the door and kill him out of sight of the camera. After you take out all the guards, go to this door and swipe your vault keycard with your partner at the same time. Follow this pathway until you reach the vault door. There shouldn't be any enemies around, so this part's really easy. Once you get to the vault door, drill through with the laser drills, but remember to go slow to stop them from overheating. Once you're in the vault, I recommend that one person goes to the paintings in the middle room, while the other person goes to whichever room on the sides that has the first door locked. Hacking the doors will take some practice, but over time, it becomes really easy and you won't have any issues with it. After you take the paintings from your areas, go to the last side and take the paintings from there along with the other person doing the heist with you. Remember to try your best to get out of the vault before the timer goes down, since if you run out of time in the vault, you lose your stealth. After you get everything out of the vault, make your way back to the room you came from. There should be a few enemies on this level, but you should be able to kill or avoid most of them pretty easily. Also remember to stay out of sight of the cameras to avoid getting caught. Then, go to the staircase and go back up to the first floor, but remember to stun the camera. Once you're on the first floor, go back into the control room and take out the guards in there. Then, open up the mini vault for a second time, since it usually will refill. After looting the mini vault for the second time, run around the back of the first floor instead of going straight through the front. While you're doing this, you'll probably need to kill one or two enemies, but this shouldn't be that difficult. Also remember to stun this camera, since it'll catch you if you're not careful. When you're leaving the staff lobby, you want to make sure that the guards are looking away when you do it, so you don't get caught. But it really doesn't matter if you get caught here, since you'll end up getting caught anyway shortly after leaving the casino. Once you leave the casino, I recommend that you go to the horse racing track and follow my path to escape the casino. After you escape the casino, go to your getaway vehicle if it's parked closely near the casino. If you get unlucky and it's parked far away, steal a vehicle from either the road or the parking lot on the left, since there usually aren't a lot of cars in the parking lot directly across the casino. Once you have a car, follow the path that I take to get to the helicopter, which usually spawns on the top of a nearby building. 
Try to avoid getting shot as much as possible on the way, since when you get shot, your height state goes down. The helicopter doesn't always spawn, so if you get unlucky, go through the sewer tunnels to escape the police. Once you're in the helicopter, fly away to the buyer's location. After you get to the buyer, the heist is over. Thanks for watching, and if this video was helpful for you, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new for more amazing GTA content.